welcome back. This is meant to be a December kind of like roundup, and uh, I usually do these at the end of the month, beginning of the next month kind of thing, and it is the New Year's Eve essentially. So I just thought it might be interesting to look over, obviously like have a quick view of my December, because I think I did a lot better than what I thought. I knew that there was gonna be a dip because November was very good. Um, but December, I was like, oh, it's going to go a little bit down. And I don't know, it did all right. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at my entire year because I can't believe it's 2023 and we're going into 2024. It's like, what? <laughs> and I've been looking at like my previous year since coming back from like, you know, full time work and into like back into reselling. Can you believe it's nearly 2024? I can't. I'm just. <sighs> absolute madness anyway so yeah i'm gonna go over like some of the things um some of my numbers i'm not gonna go over like my big sales or anything like that i'm uh yeah we'll see we'll see okay okay so this is my november um i think this was yeah it was it was my best month of the entire year so far and i sold 179 items um turnover was 4358 it's the ASP which really interests me because I sold so many high value items like on average and yeah it, it jumped my ASP up to uh, £24.37 which is a stark difference to what December uh, has which you'll see in a minute but my, my net guesstimate net profit was uh, 2513 obviously this isn't anything to do with taxes it's just basically like eBay fees um, uh, the postage cost and the cost of actual goods which I've averaged out around three pound that's what I kind of do I get so much stuff from like uh, the car boots and like charity shops and whatnot that it does kind of average out around three pound or three pound fifty some months so yeah I try and make it as clear as possible this isn't to do with um, all my living expenses or like my you know my um, my storage unit although <laughs> I have paid a lot of money out for that this year because I've, I've moved on for my little one so yeah this is just like november's we're just going over it and uh yeah a little bit different from what december has to hold let's have a look okay so this is my december uh item sold was 176 across ebay very similar to the november that was 179 so there's not much in it but look at the turnover 3597 that is like what 600 pound less and yet it's the same amount of sold and look at the asb 20 but i'm still hanging on if i can hang on to 20 pound i'll be so happy because that has been like my average throughout this entire year it's like 20 pound and then it kind of jumps up to like 23 24 earlier on goes down a little bit goes up a bit so i'm really happy that i've clung on to the 20 pound um asp and my net profit is uh, 1811 pound which to be honest isn't great <laughs> for me i want to try and hit like the two grand mark because then yeah, it just, I mean, I'm I'm still making money and I'm still like, it's still covering my expenses, but it's nice to hit that two grand mark. I feel like I've done a really, really good job <laughs> if I've hit that two grand mark. But um, yeah, it was, it was just, uh, I thought I was going to drop like a stone because you have like two or three weeks really good. And then straight after Christmas, usually it's like, it's a bit weird. It kind of like, yeah, you can have like a couple of sales like a day, but they're not like that big. Like last year, I think I only made like, I think it was, I think it's three sales and they were all like less than 10 pound. So like, but this year it's been completely different. Um, yeah. And I've had kind of like a strong showing in terms of like promoted listings. Like I've, I've been promoting the hell out of stuff and I've been taking a lot of offers. The specifically in December, the run up to Christmas, Usually, any other month, I would counter. I'm still making money on it, and I'm still making, at a bare minimum, double my money net on each item. But if, say, like I bought something for £3, I put it up for 20 someone offers me 15 I'll accept it. That was kind of like my standard. But like a lot of people like were offering me like £12, £13, and I was accepting it, and I wasn't really bothering, like countering. But then, um, yeah, with postage on top of that, it came to like 15, 16, 80. So with, with everything, I'm still making like, say, six pounds. So it's almost like double my money minimum <laughs> because otherwise, what's the point? But like, I usually like to spend one pound and make turn it into 10, if you know what I mean. 
Also, I just wanted to say, like, um, the postage cost is probably a lot less than what it states here. I mean, it's I average it out at, like, £3. I mean, I have had the items which are, like, between 1 and 5 kilos. So it's like, it, it does vary. But we've had that offer on through Packlink where it's, like, 30% off. And that's been like almost, like, the entire month of December so far. So I, it's probably a lot less than what it states here. But this is just a guesstimate. <laughs> Okay, so this is my December. Uh, this is like my day-to-day -day December. And I, usually, I like trying to I try and find trends in it. But um, yeah, so if anybody who doesn't know me, they uh, my average that I like to make per day, it's £100. Basically, that kind of covers me from what I was doing at my previous job, which was basically minimum wage. Um, I've only ever had minimum wage jobs. And yeah, so it kind of covers me for like minimum wage. And yeah, if I've made it that far, I'll be happy. You know, I, can, I, I don't take my foot off the gas. I just kind of like, I'm happy. I'm like, okay, I can pay my bills. Do you know what I mean? Like that. Obviously, I would love, I think £200 <laughs> per day, that is the nirvana. That is like the, that is the goal for me. Obviously, I'd love to do 10 times that. But for now, I'm step by step, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as you can just see to the far right, my average, I scraped just over £100 a day. Last month, I think it was like a, the minimum was like 120, and then the maximum was like 148 or something. So like, but like um, this month, I've just managed to go over, which is amazing. I'm so kind of like relieved, and it's mainly bright. Just look at like so the blue uh, towers. That is basically Christmas week, and if you look, I've I the Sunday, the day before Christmas Eve, I only did like I think it was like 28 to 30 pound, but look on Christmas Day. I did £116 on Christmas Day. Like, what the, the... And then, like, not Boxing Day, because I, I did... I think I did £60 there. But the day after Boxing Day, on the Wednesday, I did, like, £246. Like, what? Uh, yeah, so I'm really happy. The The sales have kind of held up. So, on average, like, they are hitting that £100 per day average. So, yeah, I'm just... Oh, I'm just... I knew it was going to be a lot lower, because it's a weird month, December. It spikes a little bit, and then it kind of goes down. I mean, you look at the spike on the third week of the Thursday... I mean, two hundred ninety pound. That is like that is my dream. I would love to hit that every single day. That's like I would love it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just uh, I'm really happy that it hasn't dropped like a stone. <laughs> but I'm at the same time like, oh, I could have done so much better if I really put more. Because I don't think I actually worked as hard as I could have in December. I've just been kind of lazy and eating chocolate and watch movies, <laughs> which is what we should do. It's Christmas after all. <laughs> So yeah, this is the uh, like month guesstimation. Oh god, that's my <laughs> laptop. Um, this is the month's guesstimations, and as you, as you can see, it, the it, go, it, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. That was kind of like the trend for a while, and then obviously, like September, it went down, and then October, it kind of went up a little bit, <laughs> but not by much. And then November, it just kind of spikes. And yeah, I thought the December would hit like April numbers, but it didn't, which I'm really kind of like oh, relieved about. But I just wanted to show you my. Depop and Vinted um, numbers as well. I don't... This is all just eBay. And I consider reselling as my big job. But then it's in different sections, isn't it? You've got, like, your eBay. You've got your Etsy, Vinted, Depop, Poshmark. Not anymore. But you know what I mean? Like, that kind of, like... You segment it a little bit. Okay, so this is, like... If you, if you don't know, basically, I have two Depop shops and one vintage shop. Now, I had two Depop shops at the beginning of the year, and I was doing quite well. And Depop found out I had two, basically because I changed over my payment details to the same card. And they said, oh, you've got two accounts registered to the same card. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, technically, it goes against the terms and conditions, and you, you're not allowed to have two accounts. I don't know why. People do have two different types of businesses. I've got clothing on one and everything else, like miscellaneous, on the other. So it's like, it just helps me. I've, I've kind of got an OCD. I like things separate on the, uh, on eBay. It's kind of like a free-for-all, though. It's kind of like everything on the on the shop. But, um, yeah, on Depop, it's, it's kind of, like, different. But it, this is encompassing both shops, basically. And as you can see, like, that June is when I first started. I, I opened up my brand-new clothing shop because I got to choose and I... And I basically chose my miscellaneous because it had more on and it would have saved time um and so i had to restart my clothing one so i waited a month and then i reopened it i didn't reopen it but i set up a new new account anyway this is everything so it kind of went up and up every month obviously november being a bit of a blip but then it went <laughs> december it's just kind of like spiked 
it's weird. I got £495 across my store, um, across my clothing and my uh, everything store. So I know it's not like a lot, like, but that's like £500 that I wouldn't have. I mean, I, I don't understand these people who are such like purists when it comes to, oh, you only should sell on one platform. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's bollocks. Um, sell on as many platforms as you can. If you can keep up, up with everything, which I kind of struggle with, but I, I don't know, I'm all right. Um, and Zipsail does that thing where it knocks them off, so it should, it should fingers crossed, be fine. But yeah, I think as, as long as you're making money, that's all that matters. This is £500 that I wouldn't have had if I just kept them on eBay. They didn't sell on eBay, they sold on Depop. There you go. Completely different target audience, completely different type of buyer. But then I've made £500. So don't listen to what people say when they say, oh, I'll only sell on one platform. It's a waste of time. It's not a waste of time when you're making a part-time wage off of one platform. That's all I'm saying. So sorry for all your purists, but you can jog on. <laughs> uh, now, the blue uh, towers are vinted. And that, I've, to be honest, I don't really take much heed when it comes to vinted. All I do, I don't sell any clothing on vinted. All I do is sell, like, toys, books, games, um, knickknacks, you know, those little bits. And I just throw them up. I cross-list them whenever I can. And I just let them sit. I don't really take it. But... <laughs> The amount of oh, headaches I've got from people on Vinted, just like, oh, what's this? What's it? You know, like the amount of questions and then just like the, oh, will you take one pound for this £20 item? It's just, Ugh, it really annoys me. However, I do understand the value and I do understand like people do love it. And it is the most, it's the, the quickest, the most rapidly growing platform. So to be in on the ground is fine. I'm happy with it. But look at these numbers. Um, yeah, so I've been hitting £100 on average on this. I hit 157 which is kind of like my biggest month. Uh, October, I think oh, I was 160 actually. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for 2024, I'm hoping to double these numbers. Because, you know, 500 and then plus 100 uh, it's like £650 that I wouldn't have had if I was just like leaving them on eBay. So, if I can double that, that's like... 1200 and plus there's no fees on Vinted, just saying. Um, but yeah, I would happily cross-list if it means not putting all your eggs in one basket. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with these numbers. This is one that I'm really proud of because I literally just went full throttle over the summer and I really stuck, like, pulled my finger out and I really did my work on Depop. And yeah, and I'm really, I'm just really happy with it and I'm hoping it's going to keep on growing. I think January is going to be a bit slow, but I'm hoping just to keep going. If I can hit over 200 every month, I'm laughing at that. Okay, so that was like a quick kind of whiz around like my December. I didn't do any sort of like in-depth of each sale kind of thing. Uh, I just wanted to kind of do an overview and I'm really like chuffed with what I've done. I was really expecting it to drop like a stone and it kind of, it did, but not to the point where I was like, you know, pass it out. And plus my other revenues, my deep of my vintage are going up. So I'm really pleased. Now this is the first part of a two-parter. So I've just done the December, that's this video, and I'm going to do my 2023 review of a, like a whole. Um, just like things that I've done, um, my profits, my business, and where I'm going for 2024. So it's like it's a retrospective resolutions for the future. You know what I mean? That kind of cheesy stuff. Yes. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.